We were now on our way to the Chapari Eco Lodge, a haven in the dry forests of Lambasheque in northern Peru. And most of the way was over a long and bumpy road. We arrived at the Chapari Eco Lodge, which is located in a private conservation area of nearly 90,000 acres. It was established in the year 2000 by the local community of Santa Catalina de Chongoyape. The reserve is a refuge for many species endemic to the Tumbes region, including our next new species of hummingbird. I feel like I just ate. <laughs> After lunch, we started looking around and we found some old friends. The Amazilia hummingbird is one of my old favorites. We've seen him before, both here in Peru and in Ecuador. They are too cute with those red beaks and I'm always happy to see them. We also spotted both a male and a female purple collared wood star. The next morning we got up at dawn so that we could be in place and ready for the morning show. We're spending the morning by a bath they had set up and the hummingbirds come to bathe in the morning. This is pretty exciting. And we did see a tomb this hummingbird and that's a number. It was that number 198 of our new species. The Tumbas hummingbird is found in the dry forest of southwest Ecuador and northwest Peru. It's light gray in the throat and abdomen with a very dull green back and upper outer wing. If there was an award for the plainest looking hummingbird, the Tumbas hummingbird would get the prize. But what they lack in color, they make up for in personality. Just watch this one enjoy his bath time. The juvenile male purple collared wood star also had lots of fun in the bath. This big fellow is a white-winged guan. This is a critically endangered Tumbas endemic, which was thought to be extinct for decades until it was rediscovered in 1977. A population was reintroduced at Shapari and is apparently thriving. The white on its wings is hidden when the bird's standing, but it flashes when the bird takes flight. So this morning, we were, after breakfast, we were taking a walk with our local guide, Ismael Vallejos. And Ismael noticed a short-tailed woodstar female who was at one of these black bark trees. And uh, as we watched, she went from the bottom of the tree and worked her way way up into the branches. What she was doing was, she was licking little drops of honeydew off of the little tails of these scale insects. The scale insects bore through the bark and drink the sap of this tree. 
but they can't use all those sugars. They're not very active, so they just get rid of the sugars. And so uh, when they urinate, when they get rid of those sugars, it forms this little droplet of very, very sweet, gooey uh, honeydew, which is kind of a euphemistic name for it. But that's what they call it uh, for the, from these scale insects and uh, also from aphids. And uh, it's, it occurred to me as we're watching this little female wood star working up this tree, licking these little scale insects as she goes up, that in this very dry forest here at the reserve, that this is an extremely important source of energy and resources for hummingbirds. It's the dry season, there's not a lot of flowers in bloom, so there's not a lot of nectar available to these birds. So where are they getting the energy they need? They have water because the reserve does provide water features, but they, when they need that energy, where do they get the energy? Apparently a lot of it is coming from the pee of these scale insects. And each little scale insect forms this little drop, and it, the drop grows and grows, and if nothing comes along to harvest it, it just drops to the ground. That's why the ground is covered in sticky, shiny goo. Uh, but it's very, very sweet. I decided I would be a good scientist and just taste it. And it's very gooey and sweet, much sweeter than feeder solution. So it just takes a little, those little tiny drops to supply the energy that these birds need in an environment that's very poor in flowers this time of year. This tree, and specifically these insects that infest these trees, are, are providing this critical resource that these birds wouldn't have an opportunity to, to get any other way. And some of the other things too as well. I mean, there's honeybees visiting this tree. We've seen some of the tiny, tiny little stingless native bees visiting this tree as well. Butterflies have been on these trees. So this is an extremely important resource. And the only way that these animals can take advantage of this resource is because uh, they're able to take advantage of the waste products of these little scale insects. So who knew? Fascinating. <laughs> Our time at Chaparri Eco Lodge was coming to a close, and I finally got a photograph of a little short-tailed wood star. He was a juvenile male with one little purple feather on his throat to show for his gorget. looking for the short-tailed wood star because I really wanted to get some good pictures of it this time. Went all over the property, couldn't find it, but thank goodness to he found um, a bunch of them over here feeding on these yellow flowers behind me, perched over here, so I think we got some really good pictures of them. Very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you too, Carlos. <laughs> And Sherry for coming to get me. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Wood stars rock. Wood stars rock. <laughs>